Hello, MJ. How are you today? I'm doing well, Eleanor. How about you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. I am so grateful for this opportunity. Thank you for agreeing to have a chat with me. We're here to discuss your experience with the Love Your Vibe transformation as a client participant, and you actually won the program <laughs> just about six months ago now mm -hmm. and wanted to ask you about like your experience with personal development in general before the program. Like, how did you how did you come to us because you participated in the Miracle Mindset Invitation complimentary event and you played full out, obviously. So how did you how did you find personal development before you met us? Um, I was acquainted with personal development, um, but I didn't really have any concrete basis for personal development. I had read some motivational things. I like to hear about inspirational stories, things of that nature, but I didn't have anything concrete um, per se. So yeah, so for me, um, came in an opportune time when I joined the the invitation because it was a time in my life where I had just been like, oh, because of restructuring uh, wow. my job and it was a big transition. So um, a friend um, recommended that I should probably think about something to, to sort of get me out of the <laughs> of the mindset that I was in because I was definitely not in a good place. And um, it was such a, one a bit about that where you were at before. Yeah, I was just very depressed and it would have been, I had been like go from a career where I'd spent over 30 years in, in that career. Um, and it was, it came as a big shock. So for me, it was a huge transition. And then a few months later, of course, we had a global pandemic come upon us. So the last two and a half years has been quite a transition for me. Um, and I would say that, that the Love Your Vibe came at a really opportune time because I just, I really needed something more to um, focus and, and sort of give me a more positive outlook on what was happening. Um, as we were learning, you know, it's, it wasn't happening to me, it was happening for me. I figured it was the universe giving me a little poke saying, okay, it's time. So yes, that's so for personal development really kind of willy-nilly nothing things that I'd read and done but nothing really concrete as to actually pursue it so it was a really good opportunity for me and yes I won it and I was so excited yeah. <laughs> what I wanted was like yay <laughs> and the timing was right for you absolutely yes and it's been such a pleasure having you in, in safe community with us where everybody's safe seen celebrated and supported and it's it's hard to describe what that feels like to really be in that community um, because we take the teachings and tools that were divinely gifted to Elvira V. Hopper and that she had crafted into the VIP Mindset Reset Online course. And then Jennifer and I, Jennifer Hawkins and I came together during COVID and kind of took those beautiful pearls of wisdom that she had captured in the course and created that six month program. And so basically the, the pearls of wisdom are like teachings and tools to kind of look at the world and, and tools to apply them. And it's like working out. This is kind of my <laughs> analogy for working out because you can do it <laughs> once and say, hey, that's heavy or hey, that feels good. But yes. it's the, the repeated practice in the neuroplasticity and actually thinking in a mm -hmm. different way, a different perspective. Absolutely. So I'd love to hear um, more about your perspective, MJ, about like through the six months, how you, how you felt like, where was your mindset at? Like you said, you were feeling a little depressed to start with. If you'd like to be more specific and vulnerable, this is a really safe space. It's <laughs> going to go online. So <laughs> to your discretion um, and how you're feeling, it, we're, we're almost through our six months and just curious about um, how you've shifted, please. Yes. Well, it's definitely been um, very transformative time for me. I I really love being in the community, just um, hearing and sharing with other people, realizing it's like that when I was in that depressed state, you kind of feel like you're alone. So mm. it's, um, you'll excuse me if I'm emotional, because that's just who I am, um, as you know. <laughs> so, um, so it was really, I think, from that point where it really felt like a lot of things were happening to me, and I didn't quite know how to do deal with any of those things so as I've been working through the program and just hearing other people's stories and the sharing and feeling 
safe in order to share my story. It really, from then till now, I mean, my perspective has changed quite a lot. Like now I realize that, that my angels of evolution were the ones that they were, the, that were bullying. Um, they, they were the catalyst for me to change. So that's a big aha for me because it, it's uh, felt, it feels more positive and more high vibe, I guess, that you, you know, that it's not happening to me, it's happening for me and, and, and to sort of look at it that way. And so I've been able to, as I've been working through the program, working through the different, you know, lessons we've been learning, um, and sharing with each other, it's definitely been good for me because it really gives me a perspective to understand that I'm not alone <laughs> in this journey and, and that there's a lot of people there rooting for me and that there's a lot of good tools available to me to be able to um, just move forward on my journey and not let my past drag me down. What is it you say? Throwing the bricks out of your knapsack. <laughs> Yes, place them on the ground and move forward. I, 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 I love that because for me being in graphic design, I can really relate to the visual image. So like just like tossing and laying down the, a path. That's how I look at it. It's like all those bricks I'm tossing down. Now I'm laying a path towards my future as I build my, my entrepreneurship. So, yeah, so you went from a job to yeah. entrepreneurship through the, the yes. process of this. Absolutely. Yes. And how, how, how do you feel the perspectives help? you with that journey? Um, I think it just gives me a more positive um, outlook in the sense that, that, um, you know, what is it? It's like, it, there's never, never, uh, you're never losing. It's always learning. So it's like, as I'm working through the process, it's like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm either winning or learning, right? <laughs> so that, yeah. that's so, you know, so I'm, I'm becoming more attuned with that because, um, it's so easy to um, fall back and say, oh, I'm doing it wrong. I'm not doing it right. But it's like, just like, like no, there's a lesson here to be learned. So I'm, I'm finding it easier. It's not always perfect, but I'm always finding it easier to use those tools to like flip that script and sort of say, no, this is, this is a learning experience. And, and this is where I want to go from here. So it's, it's a positive for me. It's been a whole overall, it's been a really positive experience for me, just that community feeling and feeling that that you are seen and celebrated what are the safe scene celebrated and supported right <laughs> so yes. uh, just that whole feeling there's just there's definitely that feeling of of connectedness to the people in the group and it's quite lovely um to be there yay yeah so building that miracle mindset that's that's the the key of, of Elvira's vision is that we're building a miracle mindset so that when you're aligned, authentic, and fully self-expressed, that you're more out there in the world and the miracles find you in, in terms of, of wellness and, and career and relationships and all of these different aspects of life shift when your mindset shifts. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time today, MG. MJ, pardon me. <laughs> I've got a frog in my throat. <laughs> and so grateful for your time. And we are real, not perfect around here. <laughs> Absolutely. Real, not perfect. Because you just never know when those things are going to like come. I, I still say I maintain the universe has a wonderful sense of humor, which is it great. Sure I, does. That's because it's just, just when you think you have it all to it goes, really? <laughs> you get what a test. <laughs> but usually once that's, you've passed that test, then then there's like you coast for a while but then there's usually another, another yes, test and absolutely and that's the, the joy with personal development like I've it's been so powerful for me um over 20 years of doing personal development and every time I shift perspective like we have these life events that we go through and we can write a story in our mind like that brick in my backpack it's like it's heavy it sucks that happened to me and it's just like the self-talk becomes yes. very negative and but then it's like and every time I have a big shift, it's like I go back through those life events and look at them from a different perspective. And there's still layers of, okay, there's some magic happening going on in the time space continuum. And <laughs> I think that neuroplasticity is, is, is fantastic and untapped in our world. And, and mm -hmm. we're really passionate because mental health is such a huge issue in the world today. And personal development, we believe, is one path to, to mental wellness. And I'm so grateful to hear that it's 
you know, shifted your perspective around your, your depression and, and your concept of your corporate bullying experience that you shared about. And it's been so powerful and coming from a job to entrepreneurship, like it's been just such a powerful experience. And I'm so honored to have witnessed your growth. I'm glad you won the program. Me too. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I'll let you get off to your yoga class. Now you're doing your extreme self-care. Awesome. <laughs> and uh, I love you. We'll see you Saturday. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, MJ. Bye. <laughs>